Hello guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Our topic for today is arithmetic sequences. Okay, so when we say arithmetic sequences, it involves common differences. So here is the formula. So your a sub n is the n term, while your a sub 1 is the first term, while your d is the common difference, while your n is the number of terms. Okay, now, we're going to find the general term for the given sequences. So, can I write first the formula? So, what are we going to find is the general term, also known as A sub N. Okay, so, we're going to copy the sequences first. Okay, so we're going to find the difference. So, the difference is 5. Let's say 8 minus 3, while 13 minus 8 is 5, while 18 minus 13 is 5. So, therefore, have you noticed that there is a similarity or something common? Okay, so the common difference is 5. Then your a sub 1 is 3. Okay, so now, we're going to perform the substitute Shown method using the given. So, since we don't know what a sub n is, we're going to copy a sub n. What is your a sub 1? Which is 3. We're going to copy n minus 1, then our d is 5. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to perform multiplication in distributive method. So, 5 times n, then plus 5 times negative 1. Okay, so what is 5 times n? It is 5n. Then what is plus 5 times negative 1? So positive times negative is negative. Then 5 times 1 is 5. Okay, so now we're going to arrange according to terms. So, 3 minus 5, which is negative 2. So, therefore, our general term for this sequence is 5n minus 2. So, this is just like a linear equation. So, have you noticed that these terms are increasing, right? So, if the common difference is positive, it means to say that this sequence is increasing. However, in linear equations, while in linear equations pala, the, if the slope is positive, then the line will rise up. So, related talaga siya dito, or medyo similar siya sa linear equations. Okay, so now we're going to move to the next example. Okay, so now, what is the general term? We're going to do the same process. Okay, so our first term is 19. To get the common difference, we have to find the difference. So 19 minus 16 is 3, then 16 minus 13 is 3, then 13 minus 10 is 3. Since the terms are decreasing, we have to write negative sign. Okay, so, bakit siya negative? Kasi 16 minus 19 is negative 3. While 13 minus 16, which is negative 3. So, ang common difference natin is negative 3. So, now, we're going to substitute the given to this equation or this formula. So our a sub 1 is 19. So now, we're going to do the same thing as we did in the first example, which is multiplication to distributive method sa part na to. Uh, 
Okay, so negative 3 times n, which is minus 3n. Bakit minus ito? Kasi plus times minus is equal to minus. Then, negative times negative is positive. So, kaya plus. So, now we're going to arrange. Iaad na natin yung mga numbers na to. So, our general term is negative 3n plus 22. Since the coefficient of n is negative, or shall I say the common difference is negative, we can say that this is decreasing. It is just like linear equations or let's say linear functions. If the slope of the function or the equation is negative, then the graph will go down. So this is these terms represent a falling graph. Yung kaninang example, yung example ko kanina, kaya positive, kaya paangat siya, para siyang ano eh, rising graph eh. Ito, para siyang falling graph. Okay, so now we're going to move to the next example. Okay, so now we're going to look for the common difference. Okay, so... We're going to state a given, which is a sub 1 and a sub 5. Since a sub 5 is given, we can easily write our n is 5. Okay, we can recall this formula of arithmetic sequence. Okay, so what is our a sub n? Our a sub n is equal to a sub 5. So now we're going to perform the substitution since yung a sub 1 natin is 12, substitute. Our n is 5. Okay. Bakit di pa rin yung ano, sinusulat natin? Kasi what we're looking for is the common difference, also known as d. So we're going to apply the PEMDAS method here. Unahin muna si parenthesis. So 5 minus 1 is 4. Tapos what we're going to do here is we're going to multiply 4 with D, which, which will be 4D. So we're going to transpose 12 to the other side. So 30, in this na plus, magiging minus 12 kasi positive si 12 kanina no nasa right side siya. When I, when I transferred 12 to the other side, which is the left side, the sign has changed. So, 30 minus 12 will be 18 equals 4D. So, dividing both sides by 4 to remove the katabi of D, or shall I say the coefficient of D. So, what will remain is D equals 18 over 4. So, finding the quotient, the quotient between 18 and 4 will be 4.5. So, our common difference for this sequence is 4.5. Okay? So, now, moving to the next example. Okay. Now, first term na ang hinahanap natin. So, we're now looking for the first term. Okay. So, we're going to state the given. Our common difference is 4. Then, our a sub 14 is 26. Then, our n is 14. So now, we're going to recall the formula of the arithmetic sequence. So what is our a sub n? So our a sub n is a sub 14. Okay, so our a sub n is 26. So what is our first term? Of course, we don't know yet. So we're, what we're going to write is still a sub 1. Then what is our n, which is 14? minus 1, then our D is 4. So, yung D natin, it is the common difference. So, what we're going to do is copy, then solve what's inside the parentheses. Then, what we're going to do next is 13 times 4, which is 52. Then, what we're going to do is to transpose this plus 52 to the other side. To the other hand side. So, 
the, that positive will be negative dahil nag-transpose tayo. So, 26 minus 52, which is negative 26. Then finally, our a sub 1 is negative 26. So, ito yung first term natin. So, negative 26 is our first term for this sequence. Okay, we're now moving to the last example. However, we're now going to find the value of n. Okay, so we're going to state the given. Our a sub 1 is 7. Then our a sub n is 47. Then our d is equal to 5. Okay, so now we're going to recall the formula of the arithmetic sequence. So what is our a sub n? Our a sub n is 47. What is our a sub 1? 7. Then, we do not know what n is. So, we're going to write n. Then, what is our d? 5. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to simplify this first. So, n times 5 is 5n. Then, negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. So, now, we're going to focus on simplifying this side. So, 7 minus 5 plus 5n. Okay? So, now, what we're going to do is subtract 7 with 5, which is 2. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to transpose 2 to the other side. So, 47 minus 2 equals 5n. So, 47 minus 2 is 45 equals 5n. So, dividing both sides by 5, syempre, this n will remain. And n doesn't have a coefficient anymore. So, wala nang katabi si n. So, 1n na lang siya or shall I say n. Then, 45 divided by 5 is 9. So, the value of n is 9. Since our n is 9, we can say that our a sub 9 is equal to 47 because this is the value of n. So, thank you guys. Happy learning. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. So, thank you and God bless.